Hey everyone, today I've got a Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, deck video. Today this is going to be on my Odd Eyes Performapal deck. Now, uh, I've done a video about Odd Eyes and Performapal a long, long time ago. It was probably my, at the time, my most successful video. In fact, I still think it probably is my most successful video of all time. It's super old. It's really out of date by this point. But it got a lot of views way back in the day and still probably has the most views for a video on my channel. Um, if you keep going down the videos, I'm sure you'll probably find it eventually. Um, anyway, let's go to this one. Um, yeah, of course, we'll save the extra deck stuff for last. We're going to start off with one copy of Perform Pal. Turtle. Um, it has the um, monster effect of once per turn, you can target one card in your pendulum skip a zone. Increase its pendulum scale by two until the end of this turn. And it has the pendulum effect of if a perform pile card is activated in your other pendulum zone, you can draw one card. You can only use this effect of Turtle once per turn. That's pretty good. And you pair it up with another perform pile called Performa Pal Lizard Draw. We'll get into what he does later. Primarily, you want to be using this guy for his Pendulum effect. So effectively, he's a spell card. And he has the Pendulum Scale of 6, which is pretty alright. Though not the best. Uh, next up, we have Tuning Magician. Uh, this is a Tuner Monster. If you have two Magician cards in your Pendulum Zones... While this card is in your hand or a graveyard, you can special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use this effect of Tuning Magician once per turn. If this card is normal summoned or special summoned, your opponent gains 400 life points and you take 400 life points. Uh, that's fine. Mainly you're going to be using this to go into one of your big um, boss Odd Eyes Dragon monsters. So really it's just here because it's a, le uh, a level 1 tuner. Nice. Uh, perform a pal odd eyes synchron. Uh, once again, it is another tuner monster. If this card is special summoned from the extra deck and is used as synchro material, banish it. Uh, when this card is normal summoned, you can target one level three or lower perform a pal or odd eyes monster in the graveyard. Special summon it, but it has its effects negated. Once per turn, you can target one card in your pendulum zone. Special summon it. But it has its effects negated, if any. And if you do, immediately while this, after this card resolves, Synchro Summon one Synchro Monster using only that monster and this card. So another way to go into your Synchro Monsters, uh, once per turn, it has the Pendulum effect of once per turn. You can target one Perform Pal or Odd Monster you control this turn. That face-up monster is treated as a tuner. Also, its level becomes one. So, more ways to get out uh, more monsters and to turn stuff into tuners as well, which is interesting. Uh, we've got the Time Gazer Magician. You must control no monsters that activate this card, so you can't control any monsters to put this guy in the Pendulum Zone. Um, of course, that doesn't affect if you activate it from the straight from the deck, so that's pretty nice. If a Pendulum monster you control is attacked or is attacked, your opponent cannot activate trap cards until the end of the damage step. Unless you have a Magician card or Odd Eyes card in your other Pendulum zone, this card's Pendulum skill becomes 8. And then each turn, the first cards in your Pendulum zone that would be destroyed by an opponent's card effect is not destroyed, and it has a scale of 8. You mainly want it for its 8 scale. Um, we got Performa Pal Lady Ange. It has the pendulum effect of once per turn. When an attack is declared involving your monster and an opponent's monster, you can discard one pendulum monster. That opponent's monster loses a thousand attack points until the end of the turn. And it has a pendulum scale of one. And it has the regular effect of you can discard this card and one Performa Pal monster except itself, draw two cards. This card is in your graveyard, and you control an Odd Eyes card or Performa Pal Gentrude. 
You can place this card in your pendulum zone. You can only use one perform a pal lady onto effect per turn and only once that turn. So we're done with that. On for uh Good Turtles uh best friend, we got Perform a Pal Lizard Draw. If you have a Perform a Pal card in your other pendulum zone except itself, you can destroy this card, and if you do draw one card, you can only use the effect of Lizard Draw once per turn, and then it has the regular monster effect of if another face-up monster you control is destroyed by an opponent's card attack or card effect you can draw cards equal to the number of perform pound monsters you can currently control you can only use this effect of perform pound lizard draw once per turn and it has a pendulum scale of six of course we've got ash blossom and joyous springs to help you negate any pesky effects your opponent might try to pull We've got Performer Pal Yugo Golem. Uh, it has a pendulum scale of 1 and the pendulum effect of once per turn if a monster is fusion summoned to your field except during the damage step you can add one Performer Pal Oddies or Magician Pendulum Monster from your graveyard or face up extra deck to your hand. And then it has the regular monster effect of once per turn during your main phase if this card was pendulum summoned this turn. You can fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using this card. You control and a dragon type monster you control as fusion material monsters. Pretty nice. Um, we've got Performer Pal Pendulum Sorcerer. It has the pendulum scale of two. The pendulum effect of if a Performer Pal monster is pendulum summoned to your field, all Performer Pal monsters you can currently control gain a thousand attack until the end of the turn until the end of this turn, even if this card leaves the field. And it has the monster effect of if this card is special summon, you can target up to two cards you control, destroy them, and if you do, add perform pal monsters with different names from your deck to your hand, except for itself, equal to the number of cards destroyed, you can only use the effect of Pendulum Sorcerer once per turn. Uh, this is the partner of Lady Ange, perform pal Gentrude. Uh, it has the pendulum scale of 8. If this perform, if perform pal Lady Ange is in your other pendulum zone, and you control no monsters or only pendulum monsters, you can add one Odd Eyes card from your deck to your hand. You can only use the effect of this guy once per turn. It has the regular monster effect of if this card is destroyed, you can place one perform pal pendulum monster from your deck in your pendulum zone except itself. This card is face up in your extra deck. You can discard one pendulum monster, add this card to your hand. Then you can return one perform pal or odd eyes card from your pendulum zone to the hand. You can only use one effect of Gentrude per turn and only once that turn. Pretty nice. Uh, we got perform pal Celestial Magician as a pendulum scale of eight. The pendulum effect of well exactly one face up fusion synchro or exceeds monster you control that was special summoned from the extra deck is destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect. You can special summon that destroyed monster, then destroy this card. You can only use this effect of Celestial Magician once per turn. And then one during your main phase, if this card was normal or special summoned this turn, you can apply the following effects. For the rest of this turn, based on the other monsters you currently control, if you control a fusion monster, this card can attack directly. If you control a synchro monster, your opponent cannot activate monster effects. If you control an Xyz monster, this card's attack becomes doubled its original attack. A pendulum monster, during the end phase, add one pendulum monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use the, this effect of Celestial Magician once per turn. Uh, Performa Pal Skullcrabat Joker. Probably one of the only cards in the main deck we play three of besides Ash Blossom. Uh, it has the pendulum scale of eight. The pendulum effect of you cannot pendulum summon monsters except Perform Pal, Magician Pendulum Monsters, or Odd Eyes Monsters. This effect cannot be negated. When this card is normal summoned, you can add one Perform Pal monster, one Magician Pendulum monster, or one Odd Eyes monster from your deck to your hand except itself. Pretty nice and simple. Uh, we got Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm. It has the pendulum scale of 5. Once per turn, if you control no monsters, you can place one Supreme King Gate Pendulum monster 
from your deck in your pendulum zone also you cannot pendulum zone monsters for the rest of this turn except dark monsters you won't be using this you mainly want it as a monster on the field if this card is normal or special summon you can add one supreme king gate pendulum monster from your deck to your hand if this card is in your graveyard and you control no monsters you can special summon this card you can only use each monster effect of supreme king dragon dark worm once per turn uh, we've got Harmonizing Magician. It has the Pendulum Scale of 8. The Pendulum Effect of all monsters you control gain 100 attack and defense for each face-up Magician Pendulum Monster with different names in your extra deck. The Main Deck Monster Effect of cannot be special summoned from the extra deck. Cannot be used as material for a Fusion, Synchro, or Exceed summon unless all other materials are Magician Pendulum Monsters. When this card is Pendulum Summoned from the hand... You can special summon one Magician Pendulum Monster from your deck in defense position, except Harmonizing Magician, but it has its effects negated. Also, banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use this effect of Harmonizing Magician once per turn. Okay. We got Stargazer Magician. It has the Pendulum Scale of 1. If a if a pendulum monster you control is attacked, attacks or is attacked, your opponent cannot activate spell cards until the end of the damage step, unless you have a magician card or odd ice card in your other pendulum zone. This card's pendulum skill becomes four. Once per turn, when exactly one other pendulum monster you control and all other cards is returned to your hand by an opponent's card effect, you can special summon one monster from your hand with the same name as the returned card. Okay, uh, next up we've got Perform Pal Odd Eyes Light Phoenix. It has the scale of 3. The pendulum effect of when a post monster declares a direct attack while you have a card in your other pendulum zone, you can destroy this card. You can destroy the other pendulum zone, and if you do, special summon this card. Uh, it has the regular effect of during either player's turn, you contribute this card, then target one Perform Pal monster you control. It gains 1,000 attack until the end of the turn, which is nice. Has Perform Pal Monkey Board. Yes, he's back. Thank God. Uh, it has the Pendulum Scale of 1, the Pendulum Effect of, unless you have another Perform Pal card in your other Pendulum Zone, this card's Pendulum Scale becomes 4. During your main phase, if this card was activated this turn, you can add one level 4 or lower Perform Pal monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of Monkey Board once per turn. Has the monster effect of you can discard this card, reveal one perform pal or eyes monster in your hand, and if you do, reduce the levels of the monsters in your hand with net name by one for the rest of this turn. Mainly, you want to be using it for its pendulum scale of one and its search effect in the pendulum scale. Uh, we got Supreme King Gate Zero. Honestly, its effects don't matter. You mainly want it for its pendulum scale of zero, which is very good. It lets you Pendulum Summon all your level 1 monsters. And just to have a Pendulum Scale of 0 is exceedingly rare. Uh, we got Zanki Magician. Uh, it has the Pendulum Scale of 3. Once per turn, you can target one face of Xyz monster. You control this turn. You can use it as an Xyz material for an Xyz summon using its rank as, it, as if it were a level. Once per turn, during either player's turn, you can target one light monster on the field. Negate that face-up monster's effects until the end of the turn. You mainly want it for its pendulum scale effect to turn your Xyz monsters into level monsters with the same level as its rank. Of course, we got two copies of the Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. It has the pendulum scale of four. You can reduce the battle damage you take from a battle involving a pendulum monster you control to zero. During your end phase, you can destroy this card, and if you do, add one Pendulum Monster with 1,500 or less attack from your deck to your hand. You can only use each Pendulum effect of Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon once per turn. It has the regular monster effect. of this. If this card battles an opponent's monster, any battle damage this card inflicts to your opponent is doubled. Very nice. I love this thing. Uh, we got Astrograph Sorcerer. Uh, it has the pendulum scale of 1. During your your main phase, you can destroy this card. And if you do, take one Stargazer Magician from your hand or deck and either place it in your pendulum zone or special summon it. 
You can only use this effect of Astrograph Sorcerer once per turn. And then it has the monster effect of if a card you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. Then you choose one monster in the graveyard, extra deck, or that is banished, and that was destroyed this turn. Add one monster with the same name from your deck to your hand. You can banish this card you control plus four monsters from your hand, field, or graveyard. One each of a Pendulum Dragon, an Xyz Dragon, a Synchro Dragon, and a Fusion Dragon. In their names, special summon one Supreme King Dragon, Zark, from your extra deck, and is treated as a Fusion Summon. We do not have Zark in this deck, unfortunately. In the future, I might make one that is strictly focused on Zark. You can put that in the comments if you want me to do something like that. Uh, we got the Odd Eyes Phantom Dragon. It has the Pendulum Scale of 4, the Pendulum Effect of once per turn when an attack is declared involving a face-up monster you control and an opponent's monster. If you have an Odd Eyes card in your other Pendulum Zone, you can make that monster you control gain 1200 attack until the end of the battle phase. And then the main monster effect of when this Pendulum Summon card inflicts battle damage to your opponent by attacking, you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to the number of Odd Eyes cards in your Pendulum Zones times 200, times 1200. You can only use this effect of Odd Eyes Phantom Dragon once per turn. Uh, we've got the Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon. It has the Pendulum Scale of 8 and the Pendulum Effect of if an Odd Eyes card you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon one Odd Eyes monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard. You can only use this effect of Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon per turn. And it, since it is a normal monster, it has no monster effect. We got the Ritual Monster, Odd Eyes Pendulum Graph Dragon. It has the Pendulum Scale of 4, the Pendulum Effect of during your end phase, you can add one Ritual Spell from your deck to your or graveyard to their hand, then return this card to the hand. You can only use this effect of Odd Eyes Pendulum Graph Dragon once per turn. And the monster effect of you can ritual summon this card with Odd Eyes Advent must either be ritual summoned or pendulum summoned from your hand. Each time your opponent special summons a monster from the extra deck, inflict 300 points of damage to them. Once per turn, when your opponent activates a spell card or effect, quick effect, you can place this card in your pendulum zone. And if you do negate that effect, then if you Ritual Summoned this card and it is placed in the Pendulum Zone, you can Special Summon one Odd Eyes monster from your extra deck. Pretty nice. Uh, under the spells, we got two Sky Iris. Magician, Perform Pal, and Odd Eyes cards in your Pendulum Zone cannot be targeted by an opponent's card effects. So basically, they have to go through this thing first to get to your Pendulum Scales. You can target one other face-up card you control, destroy it, and if you do add one Odd Eyes card from your deck to your hand, you can only use this effect of Sky Iris once per turn. Uh, we got Dragon Shrine. Send one Dragon-type monster from your deck to the graveyard, and if you, that monster in your graveyard is a normal monster, you can send one more Dragon-type monster from your deck to the graveyard. Typ typically, we'll be only sending our Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm, if it is the first turn of the duel. So we can immediately special summon Dark Worm from the graveyard. Uh, we got Duelist Alliance. If there is a card in the Pendulum Zone, add one Pendulum, Pendulum Monster, or Pendulum Spell or Trap card from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of Duelist Alliance once per turn. Uh, we got Odd Eyes Fusion. Fusion summon one dragon type fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or side of the field as materials. If your opponent controls two or more monsters and you control no monsters, you can use up to two Odd Eyes cards in your extra deck as fusion materials. And you can only use Odd Eyes Fusion once per turn. We got regular polymerization. We got Odd Eyes Advent, which is the ritual spell card for Pendulum Graph and Odd Eyes Gravity Dragon. This card can be used to ritual summon any dragon type ritual monster from your hand or graveyard. You must also tribute Pendulum monsters from your hand or field whose total levels equal or exceed the levels of the ritual monster you want to ritual summon. If your opponent controls two or more monsters and you control no monsters, you can also send Odd Eyes 
monsters from your extract to the graveyard. You can only activate advent once per turn. And of course, we finally have infinite impermanence to negate any pesky effects your opponent might try to do. Uh, target one face-up monster you control, or my opponent controls, negate its effects until the end of the turn. Then if this card was set before activation and is on the field at resolution, for the rest of this turn, all other spells and traps in this column are negated. If you control no cards, you can activate this from the hand. On to the extra deck, we've got Odd-Eyes Rebellion Dragon. It is a rank 7 with a pendulum scale of 4. The pendulum effect of once per turn, if you have no pendulum cards in your other pendulum zone, you can place one pendulum monster from your deck in the pendulum zone. And the main monster effect of you need two level 7 dragons to make this. If you can Pendulum Summon level 7 monsters, you can Pendulum Summon this card face-up from the extra deck. If this card is Xyz Summoned by using an Xyz monster as material, destroy as many level 7 or lower monsters your opponent controls as possible. Inflict 1,000 points of damage to your opponent for each card destroyed. And if you do, this card can make 3 attacks during each battle phase of this turn. If this card in your monster zone is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can destroy as many cards in your pendulum zone as possible, minimum of one. And if you do, place this card in your pendulum zone. Uh, we got Odd Eyes Venom Dragon. Uh, it has a pendulum scale of one. The pendulum scale effect, once per turn, you can target one fusion monster you control. It gains a thousand attack for each monster your opponent controls until the end of this turn, and the main effect of you need one starving venom monster and one odd eyes monster to make this must be fusion summoned and can and then can be pendulum summoned if you fusion summoned it once per turn you can target one face up monster your opponent controls until the end phase this card gains attack equal to its attack and if it does this card's name becomes that monster's original name and replace this effect with that monster's original effects if this card in your monster zone is destroyed you can special summon one monster from your pendulum zone, and if you do, place this card in your pendulum zone in its place. Uh, we got Odd Eyes Wing Dragon. It has the pendulum scale of 10. Once per turn, if once per turn before damage calculation, if your monster battles an opponent's monster, you can make your monster gain attack equal to the monster's attack until the end of the damage step. Then the effects of you need one dark tuner and one non-tuner clear wing monster to make this. If this card is in your monster zone and is destroyed, you can place this card in the pendulum zone. You can only use one effect of the following effects of Odd Eyes Wing Dragon per turn, and only once that turn, you can target one effect monster your opponent controls and negate its effects until the end of the turn. During the battle phase, if you control this synchro summon card quick effect, you can destroy all level five or higher monsters your opponent controls. All right. Uh, we've got Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. You need two dark monsters that are on the field to make this except tokens. If this card is Fusion Summon, you can make this card gain attack equal to one of your opponent's special summon monsters until the end of this turn. Once per turn, you can target one level 5 or higher monster your opponent controls. Until the end of this turn, this card's name becomes that monster's original name and replace this effect with that monster's original effects. If this fusion summon card is destroyed, you can destroy all of your opponent's special summon monsters. We have Perform Pal Odd Eyes Metal Claw. You need one Odd Eyes monster and one Perform Pal monster to make this. Cannot be used as a fusion material. If this card was fusion summoned using polymerization, it is unaffected by other card effects. While this card, when this card declares an attack, all monsters you currently control gain 300 attack until the end of the battle phase. Uh, we got Perform Pal Gatling Ghoul. And you need one Perform Pal monster and one level 5 or higher dark monster to make this. If this card is fusion summoned, you can inflict 200 damage to your opponent for each card on the field. Then, if this card was fusion summoned using Pendulum Monster as material, destroy one monster your opponent controls. And if you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's original attack. You can only use this effect of Gatling Ghoul per turn. we got Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon. You need one Odd Eyes and one Pendulum Monster to make this. 
while when this card is special summoned, you can target one face-up attack position monster your opponent controls to return it to the hand. During each player's turn, while your spell or trap card or another monster effect is activated, you, sh you can shuffle one face-up pendulum monster from your extract to the deck. Negate the activation, and if you do destroy that card, you can only use each effect of Vortex Dragon per turn. We've got Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. You need one tuner and one non-tuner monster to make this. Once per turn, when a level 5 or higher monster activates its effect on the field, quick effect, you can negate the activation, and if you do destroy it, once per turn, when a, opponent, when a monster effect is activated that targets one level 5 or higher monster on the field, and no other cards, quick effect, you can negate the activation, and if you just do destroy it, if this card effect destroys a monster, this card gains attack evil to that destroyed a monster's original attack until the end of this turn. Uh, we got Supreme King Dragon Clear Wing. One tuner monster and one non-tuner Dark Pendulum monster to make this. If this card is Synchro Summon, you can destroy all face-up monsters your opponent controls. Once per turn, before damage calculation, if this card battles an opponent's monster, you can destroy that card, and if you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the destroyed monster's original attack. If this card is in your graveyard, you can tribute two Supreme, tri you can tribute two Supreme King Dragon monsters. Special summon this card. Uh, we got Dark Rebellion Exceeds Dragon. You just need two level four monsters to make this. You can detach two materials from this card. Target one face-up monster you, your opponent controls. Its attack becomes half its current attack. And if it does, this card gains that monster's lost attack. Uh, we got Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon. Two level sevens to make this. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can detach one Xyz material from this card and negate the attack. And if you do, special summon one Odd Eyes monster from your hand or graveyard. If this Xyz, Xyz summon card is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one Odd Eyes monster from your extra deck, except Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon. You can only use this. If, you can only use each effect of Absolute Dragon per turn. Uh, Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon Overlord. It has the pendulum scale of 4, the pendulum effect of once per turn. You can special summon this card from your pendulum zone, then special summon from your extra deck 1 Rebellion or the Phantom Knights monster. Using this card as a material, it is treated as a C summon, then you can attach one, one card from your pendulum zone to it as a material. You won't be using that. Uh, you need two level 7s to make this. You can also exceed summon this card using a Rebellion Xyz monster you control as material. Transfer its materials to this card. You can pendulum summon. If you can pendulum summon level 7s, you can also pendulum summon this card from the extra deck. Uh, it, this card that was exceed summoned using a rank summon exceed monster as materials can make up to 3 attacks during each battle phase. If, if this card in the monster zone is destroyed, you can place it in the pendulum zone. You can only special summon Odd-Eyes Rebellion Dragon Overlord once per turn. Um, we got Link Monsters, we have Beyond the Pendulum. Uh, you need two effect monsters, including a Pendulum Monster, to make this. Uh, if this card is Link Summoned in the Extra Monster Zone, you can pay 1,200 life points, add one Pendulum Monster from your deck to your hand, but for the rest of this turn, unless you Pendulum Summon after this effect resolves, you cannot activate monster effects, and the effects of any cards in your Pendulum Zone are negated. If two monsters with different original levels are pendulum summoned to zones this card points to, you can target up to two cards in the field, destroy them, and you can only use this effect of Beyond the Pendulum per turn. Uh, we got Selene, Queen of the Master Magicians. You need two plus monsters to make this, including a spellcaster. If this card is link summoned, place spell counters on this card equal to the number of spells on the field and in the graveyard. While you have Endemian cards in your on your when an Endemian card or cards is on your field, your opponent's monsters can't target this card for attacks. That doesn't matter. We don't have any Endemian monsters. Once per turn during your main phase, quick effect, you can remove three spell counters from your field. Special summon one spellcaster type monster from your hand or graveyard in defense position to a zone. This card points to you mainly want it for its scales and for its spell counter effect. And the final card is a Burl Sword Dragon. Uh, you need three plus effect monsters to make this. Cannot be destroyed by battle once per turn. Quick effect, you can target one attack position monster. Change it to defense position. Also, this card can make a second attack during each battle phase this turn. 
Your opponent cannot activate over or cards or effects in response to this effect. Once per turn, when this card declares an attack on a face-up monster, you can activate this effect until the end of the turn. This card gains attack equal to to half of that monster's current attack, and if it does, that monster's current attack is halved. And that is it for my Otter Eyes Performer Pal deck. I hope you enjoyed this video.